financing is a critical factor for agricultural transformation. So if we contextualize uh, the issue, we should refer, first of all, to the fact that African small-scale farmers who produce 80% of the food we eat as Africans spend out of their pockets about $100 billion a year in agriculture. On the other hand, you have the private sector represented by big corporations who is also investing on relatively big projects in the agro-industry scheme, uh, targeting a demand. And that demand is increasing. The demand of agricultural products is increasing because we have, uh, um, as you know, an increasing population, but an increasing middle class. The third point is that we import, we pay, you and I, out of our pockets, and uh, all the other Africans, about uh, 45 billion dollars of agricultural products. So we import and we pay for that uh, import bill. Now, if you look at the governments and what they spend, compared to these big numbers, is relatively small. So the objective of Maputo, more than 10 years ago, was to stimulate public spending in agriculture in order to have a food secure Africa on the one hand, and on the second hand, uh, be in uh, a situation where Africa could export. Now, what we have diagnosed on the basis of Maputo targets is that spending has increased, but not sufficiently. We still need to do more. The comparative advantage that we have is that we have designed the necessary plans that we call National Investment Plans of Agriculture. There are about 35 of them now in the continent. 35 countries have these frameworks. So it is easy on the basis of these frameworks to rationalize public spending, private spending, and to empower through the necessary incentives the small-scale farmers. So the financial model of uh, the future, which is already present today, is uh, building sound partnerships between small-scale farmers, big corporations, uh, governments and corporations, and having the governments support the small-scale farmers. So you have three uh, segments, let us say, in that uh, financial model. Why is it important and uh, critical for the future of the continent? Because in the next 40 years, FAO is telling us that the world will need to produce the same amount of food that we have produced in the last 3,000 years. 3,000 years. The region of the world which has the highest potential in terms of Arab land and active population to meet that challenge is Africa.